Hello everyone, welcome back once again to Science Circle. Today we will be discussing about an organelle which is present only in plant cell and euglenoids but absent in animal cell. Guess the name of the organelle? Yes, you are right. Today Science Circle will discuss about plastids. In this video we will be discussing about the definition, the types of plastid, its function and the structure of chloroplast. So without delay and skipping the video, please watch till the end. Let's see what is the definition of plastid. Plastids are double membrane organelle that is found in the cells of the plants and algae. Plastids are generally responsible for manufacturing and storing of food. These often contain the pigments that are used in photosynthesis and different type of pigments that can change the color of the cell. Plastids are generally bigger in size so it can be easily seen under microscope. The plastids were first discovered by E. Heckel. They bear some specific pigments thus imparting specific colors to the plant. Based on the type of pigments a plastid is containing we differentiate into three main categories that is chloroplast, chromoplast and leucoplast. Chloroplasts are biconvex shaped semiporous double membrane cell organelle which is found in the mesophyll of a plant cell. They are the basic sites for synthesizing food during the process of photosynthesis. They contain chlorophyll and carotenoid pigments which is responsible for trapping light energy essential for photosynthesis. In chromoplast, we will be seeing it is present usually in the flowering plants, aging leaves and fruits. Chromoplast is a converted form of chloroplast. Chromoplasts have carotenoid pigments that allow different colors that you see in leaves and fruits. The main reason for its color is for attracting pollinators. Other than carotenoid pigments, xanthophyll can also be present. This gives a part of a plant yellow, orange or red color. Third type which we are having that is the leucoplast. They are non-pigmented organelle which is colorless. It is usually found in the non-photosynthetic parts of the plants like roots. They act as a storage shades for starch, lipids and protein depending on the needs of the plant. Leucoplast are of three types, amyloplast, alluroplast and elioplast. Amyloplast is greatest among all the three and which is helping in storing of starch. Alluroplast which is helping in storing of proteins that a plant need and can be typically found in seeds. Elioplast is helping in storing of fat and oils that are needed by a plant. Now let's discuss about the structure of chloroplast in details. Number of chloroplast varies widely in different plants. In Chlamydomonas, a single chloroplast is present whereas in Spirogyra it ranges from 1 to 14. But in higher plants the number of chloroplast varies from cell to cell. Each cell may have 30 to 200 chloroplast. Again the shape of the chloroplast will also vary from plant to plant. It is generally 4 to 5 micrometer in size. Plants growing in shade have larger chloroplast in their cells than that of the growing in the intense light. There are different shapes of chloroplast as like plate shape will be observed in chlorella, cup shaped or she shaped will be observed in chlamydomonas, ribbon shaped in spirogyra, star shaped in gignema, reticulate shape in odogenium, griddle shaped in eulothrix. In higher plants it is generally spherical or ovoidal. Chloroplast is a double membrane structure and it parts includes inner membrane, outer membrane, intermembrane space, stroma and thylakoid membrane. Chloroplast has two membranes namely outer membrane and inner membrane. The outer membrane permits the movement of ions and metabolites whereas inner membrane is highly specialized with the transport of proteins. Both of these membranes are phospholipid layers which is measuring from 6 to 8 nanometer in thickness. The two membranes are separated by a gap which is known as intermembrane space. Each chloroplast has two definite regions namely stroma and grana which we will be learning in details. The space limited by the inner membrane of the chloroplast is called stroma. Stroma is a colorless alkaline aqueous protein rich fluid present within the inner membrane of the chloroplast and which is surrounding the grana. Stroma also contain enzymes which is required for the synthesis of carbohydrates and proteins. It is also containing a small double stranded circular DNA molecules and ribosomes. Now you may be wondering where is the chlorophyll pigment present? The chlorophyll pigment is present within the thylakoids. A number of organized flattened membranous sacs called the thylakoids are present in the stroma as you can see in the picture. 
In addition, there are flat membranous tubules called the stroma lamellae, which is connecting the thylakoids of different grana. The membrane of the thylakoids enclose a space called as lumen. The main function of the thylakoid system is a light dependent reactions to be performed here during photosynthesis process. Thylakoids are arranged in stacks like piles of coins called grana in singular which we say as granum or the intergranular thylakoid and each granum contains around 10 to 20 thylakoids. Hope you have understood the structure of the chloroplast, the types of the plastid and its function. If you think this video is helpful to you, please don't forget to subscribe my channel and share it with your friends. Thank you for watching my video.